walk through. What up? Nick Trudor's word is playing as Mario. Because it'll be quote unquote funny if he wins. Probably be typing this Mario. Winners finals. He hopes it to be. Level now. Let's see what Ruben's going to change. Turn this around. Uh, I'm joined by Mark again. Perhaps explain this what uh, meta matchup. <laughs> the uh, most played matchup of all time. <laughs> so, uh, right. So that's like one of the only times you'll ever see Mario get a kill in this matchup because <laughs> Mario can't kill anything. <laughs> and I'm not even joking when I say that. His KO options are really limited. Yes. Uh, speaking to Nick and he asked, oh, who should I, who should I play in the final? Uh, and I didn't have an answer for him, so I'm going to play Mario because it'll be funny if I win. Because <laughs> he said, yeah, this is uh, inspired by the mindset, uh, the 2014 mindset, and claiming that you inspired him. So oh, right, yeah. He's, he's saying this is your fault, basically. Okay, makes sense. Um, so I'm going to hold you to that. A lot of things are my fault these days. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just learning to care less about it. I think you're just a convenient scapegoat I am. being uh, back here for the first time in like three odd years, yeah, four that, odd years. That also, uh, I, I just have one of those faces you can blame. Yeah, maybe Nick likes blaming anyone <laughs> that he can. That, that would also fit. But uh, yeah, this is close. It's, um, I actually thought Nick was losing for a second there, but it's oh, uh, Ruben with a high percent. Yeah. So, uh, how's, how's Mario edge guarding then? Uh, Mario's edge guarding, depending on the character, can actually be quite good. Uh, his back air is really good for throwing them off. Um, his cape, really good for gimping recoveries. I'm pretty sure he can actually cape Sam's his up B and she can't grab the ledge. Right. Um, so, let's see if he does it. The trick is getting him off the stage to begin with. That'll do. The trick is getting him off the stage to begin with. Yeah, that is definitely <laughs> the difficult part. The sticking point. Um, pretty sure he can also cape a uh, tether recovery. So I want to see at least one of those in this set to make it make me happy inside. <laughs> uh, did you end up commentating my uh, game as well against Ruben? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah did you uh, have any uh, particular insights there? Or? 
Uh, if I if I did and I don't, uh, you wouldn't want to hear them. <laughs> okay. they, they could only That's very suspicious. They <laughs> say that they, could, they, could, they you only, don't. No, you don't want to hear them because they wouldn't they wouldn't help in any way. And if you took them to heart, that would only make you a worse player. Okay. Yeah. Okay. However, so it's self-deprecating. Uh, uh, Nick, self Nick had some advice for you, which was. Uh, you should be um, labbing your uh, grab follow-ups. Yeah, yeah, I really do need to do that. Um, I feel like I knew what I was doing with grabs sort of intuitively back yeah. in the day, like maybe a year ago. Yeah. And I didn't play a Samus for ages. Right. And then I started playing a Samus game. I was like, why is nothing fucking comboing? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can actually destroy Samus combo-wise with a throw game. What am I watching, by the way? Like, <laughs> Is, is Nick listening to our commentary? <laughs> I'm sure they can hear us. Well, Occasionally maybe. they react, and it's very obvious that they're let's hearing what we're saying. Yeah, let's see if Nick's uh, labbed his uh, Samus grab follow-ups. Or maybe how he edge guards, because I can't edge guard Samus at all. So we are... I see you've got your notepad out, and you're scribbling down everything you see. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my mental. <laughs> Looks like Nick's going for the sort of full hop camping as well, which I'll admit is probably how you should be playing this matchup. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, Samus has a real floaty jump, so if you can get her into the air, it takes her a long time to get down. Oh. And she also has a difficult time uh, attacking when in the air from to hit someone below, except for downing, but that's slow to come out. Yes. So, Essentially, you want to bait Samus into going up into the air so that you can catch her out and then combo her from there with up airs. Um, easier said than done. Oh, I need to update this. Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah. Right, uh, did, did Nick take uh, the first game? Yes, he yeah. did. With his uh, green Mario. Mario. Yes. Uh, we're not going to update the characters because something tells me that Nick is just going to pick whatever he likes as Grand Finals. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't have even put Mario in. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, this is all Grand time. Finals, isn't it? G grand Finals. G grand Finals. Let me fix that up. There we go. Oh, it wasn't intentional? No, it was intentional. <laughs> it but wasn't I, I forgot the G. You need an extra G. You need uh, three Gs. <laughs> I'm just slowly ruining uh, Kai's stream's reputation here. <laughs> it's okay. You've actually done quite a bit of uh, commentary today, haven't you? I have. Uh, I'm not very good at it. j -Nut says Nick lost game one. Were we not paying attention? Mm, yeah. Actually, I was paying attention. <laughs> okay. I just assumed that he won. Uh, hopefully, j -Nuts is not trolling us. j -Nuts wouldn't lie. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> I swear that he won. I feel like I'm being j -Nuts, here, j -Nuts falling off the chair, oh. laughing at us right now. Probably. Miss Legends up the last stop. Oh, uh, a likely story. Yeah, yeah. Anyone could have made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it actually does sound legit. <laughs> but uh, Nick actually the got... The good lies always are. <laughs> Nick actually got quite a good combo off on uh, Ruben there. And unfortunately, I missed how he started. So <laughs> that's kind of the important part. Oh, you don't want to grab take the VOD off. later. Yes. Oh, oh that does not combo. Pretty sure, but you know what? Sometimes you get caught out like that. Uh, what's he doing? Okay, it's up end, yeah. So what do you like about Captain Falcon as a character? Oh, I like that he has to try his hardest to win. <laughs> like like you do. Yeah. <laughs> you relate to it. Um, I, I feel like it's always... Like, when I lose to another Falcon, I feel like I've been thoroughly outplayed. Yeah. And I find playing as other people, they see it that way as well. Um, there's also just so much uh, variation to this combo game that you can throw in. That's not necessarily optimal 100% of the time, but you can be very creative. <laughs> um, and have a damn good time, right? And a lot of moments for hype that you can... Yeah. Uh, get set up, it's like whether it's through a combo or... A very just, uh, entertaining, uh, very entertaining to watch uh, you uh, dancing all over the place mm. with, uh, with your Captain Falcon. 
Yeah. Competent Captain Falcon is a joy to watch. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think just everyone by default goes for Captain Falcon in any matchup. Like, maybe not against, like, Pichu or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, the crowd's always on Falcon's side. They always love a good Falcon. So, it's uh, nice. Oh, I've done That's that a million fortunate. times. <laughs> Uh, Feel, you're feeling that pain right now? Yeah, it it hurts. Trans, transcends monitors straight to your heart. Yeah, I could see from Nick's reaction. It was <laughs> exactly the same feeling for that moment. Shame and sadness. Uh, looks like Ruben's sort of beefing his uh, combo game a bit. Or his, at least his ledge coverage. I mean, it did, didn't matter in the end. He got the kill, but he's missed a couple of opportunities. Okay. Oh, Nick. Oh, Nick, what are you doing? Pull on a black shadow. Was, that going for a, was he going for a wave land there or something? Uh, yeah, I think he wanted to wave land back onto the ledge from reverse. But uh, there's a lot of uh, technical screw-ups you can make on this stage as Falcon as well. The ledge heights really don't favor him. Yeah. Well, there's also changing as well. Pardon? They're constantly changing as well, right? Yeah, and that like all of those different heights affect what aerials he can actually do. Uh, so yeah. I have to track. And if you miss an aerial input, then you're probably going to get punished. And killed. Free stocks. Good, Good job to Ruben. Quick one. Now it's two one. Ruben's way. What's going to happen next? Oh, straight, straight in. He's staying Falcon too. I think he's trying to prove a point here. Never a good idea. If no. You know. <laughs> and that, oh, it's very hard that to prove a point and win. Though. What was that? It's sign? very hard to prove a point and win at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Often your emotions get in the way. Yes. But uh, I, I've noticed a change already in how he's playing the neutral. He's being very safe with his nans, and he's playing that dash game and getting a safe hit out. And let's see if he gets a knee off this. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be good anyway. Yeah, looking a lot better. And I'm surprised that actually consistently works. I thought it didn't, but it shows what I know. Yeah, that looked, that looked good. Uh, what's up? Muscat Ah, okay, check this one. Andy side B. Works that, out that up there for Captain, Captain Falcon. It really reaches high, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, stretchy legs. A lot of it also has to do with how high he can jump as well. Um, and his double jumping really fast. Yeah. Taking quite the lead, actually. Let's see if I recover a bit here. Ooh, that's not nice. Oh, oh well, yeah. Punish. Nick just noticed uh, to try and jump from the uh, small alcove next to the tree as Falcon. You auto land on this the little platform from the uh, right under the platform, yeah. Oh. And it means you miss out on your aerial. It's uh, really dumb. But, uh, Is that Divot of a, of a nickname for Captain Falcon mains? You say Divot? Divot. Yeah, Divot in the ground. Oh. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, I can see what he's going for there, the falling name, but unfortunately just a little too late. Up there. So imagine uh, Ruben would he's provide a, a fantastic opportunity to learn the, the matchup, Captain Falcon. Yeah, that's exactly he's a, he's, right. a, he's a very decent player. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, it's set one. Oh, yeah. I was just wondering uh, what set this is. Usually so. the tournaments end at 7.30pm and it's now 9 o'clock, right? Yeah, but we <laughs> happen to have this place open till 12, I believe. So, it's a bit better than our regular evac uh, room. So why Pokemon Stadium? Is it just a dope? Um, no, no. Uh, Pokemon Stadium is really good for Falcon 
because it gives him a lot of room to move around. And uh, sometimes the, the hazards can actually be quite to his favor, uh, depending on the matchup. Like, uh, I probably wouldn't take Fox here, but you could. Um, it's also fairly player preference based. Um, I personally really dislike the stage, even when it's advantageous to the matchup. <laughs> but uh, someone like SUJ, for instance, he takes people here all the time. It's one of his favorite stages um, as a counter pick. But uh, someone like Wizro, for instance, would less likely than SUJ, SUJ take uh, a player here. And Nick SDs. Now we're down to like, one stock apiece. Ruben has a little bit of percent, so this could be a quick kill, or Nick could get gimped off stage very quickly. So it's still open game. Ooh, and this is how it starts. Ooh. Oh, very close. Some very dangerous attacks coming out. Oh, that follow up. Gonna get through the back air wall. Nick looks like he's reaching a little bit for a strong move, but Ruben's aware. He can just sit there with missiles until Nick makes a mistake. And speak of the devil. Is this the mistake he needed? I think it is. That's it. That's All great. right, 2 2. Nick drops the lead he had at the beginning of this game. Uh, that one there. What's they say, Nick, though? Uh, that is SA. And then 3 1. Uh, no, because that's Nangs. And then you set this one to 2. But SA Nick is locked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm, you know, I, I'm tired. I, uh, I haven't been in the, the Smash thing for, for a while. Thank you for covering <laughs> my back there. Um, so I believe this is set 2 then. All right. Uh, so yeah, back so to that was 3 1. So back to 0. And yeah, that makes sense because. Nick has picked up the math again. Does this track set to the wall or not? What was that, sorry? Does this track set to the streaming setup or not? Um, I think what we would do is... I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't know how. Uh, grand Finals reset? I guess that is probably the closest we're going to get. All right. Um, <laughs> And it makes sense. So, All right, so Marth's coming out. Nick's not messing around anymore. I'm actually also going to update the characters because I feel like Nick's going to stay Marth like a good boy. <laughs> Instead uh, of wasting everybody's time. Oh, yeah. And take it to set <laughs> two. Yeah. Okay. I'm hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. Yeah, actually, I think. Okay. <laughs> Starving to death in the oh. commentator's booth. Casually starving to death while we uh, commentate. It's watched a lot, though. No one cares about how much we've eaten. Yeah, yeah we're going to tell everyone anyway. Exactly. They can deal with that. All right, so let's stock down each. Yeah. 126% the modern. And Nick has quite the advantage here holding stage. Yes. Well, Ruben stage. might be a little bit fucked here. Yes. Oh, oh, what, what, the what, down what, end, the forward smash. It definitely could have worked, but... So he, uh, he got a bit off his the slop there. Oh, man. Oh. Having a hard time yeah. educating that, uh, that Ruben. Oh, he just dropped through back air, but gets stuck on the platform. Now, this is the sort of percent where Marth has a really difficult time trying to finish off the opponent. Like, you can see he's getting all that percent from the grab to try and kill him off the top. Yeah. And, uh... There we go. And up air seals. A lot of, lot of percent, though. It's more than strictly... Yeah, there. so... Basically, that is how the matchup goes, at least if it's not an early kill from uh, the last side. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest, that they uh, ended up striking the battlefield. I would imagine Samus wouldn't have this stage as his first pick. Oh. Uh, they could have just gentlemen here. <laughs> I should call this gentleman. Oh, yeah. 
that near though. Yeah. Steel super, boot. Super steely. <laughs> oh, catches the uh, forward air. Nasty. The uh, forward air. Try that matter. Oh, oh with the tether. And this is why uh, I would imagine this isn't the first pick stage for Samus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know all too well from my link mating. Yes, yes, yeah. you would feel the pain when you nail that little, little sliverish shit on the side there. Yeah. It's the elusive ledge. <laughs> <laughs> I can never judge it because the camera's jumping all over the place as well. Yeah, it does take yeah. a bit of uh, adjusting to what the camera's doing at any given moment. And he's got not quite a percent. It's going to be a bit difficult for Ribbon to take this game back, but I'd like to see him do it. It would be nice if Ribbon won this set after Nick went full Mario on us. I would, uh, <laughs> the the Schroden Proud would be uh, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, yes! Go I, just, I just love bomb nair combos from Samus. <laughs> I don't know why. Tasty. They're very tasty. Oh, that's oh, oh, it's, wow! They didn't do it. Yeah, what the? What happened there? Was it just on the sweet spot? Uh, that wasn't a sweet spotted one, um, which is probably why. Like, I'm sure, if it was sweet spotted, would have killed. But yeah, that was. Even so, even so, at that percent. Oh, oh God! Move. And. Now, Ruben is at that magical never mind percent. <laughs> <laughs> game over percent. Cool. And that's, uh, game one in the Grand Finals reset to SA News. And it looks like they're going straight to FOD. Not surprising. Get the stage is so good for some. Get some tranquility going. Yeah, no, I, like, as. Aesthetic-wise, this is one of my favorite stages. Competitive, sort of play-wise, I despise <laughs> the stage. <laughs> and I'm sure it has to do with being a Captain Falcon man. Ooh, going for the down air, but a little bit off. Yeah, Ruben is looking a bit too eager with his dash attacks. I've seen a few times that Nick's caught about yeah. dash attacking to Nick never misses an opportunity to punish those. Yeah, no, that's uh, absolutely right. So what was the, what was what do you think was the play there with the side B off Mark? So at certain percents, especially on floaty characters, um, Side B combos into up tilt, oh, and okay. it basically is Mark's way of getting a kill on a floaty if it's not possible off of the throw. Um, so it's uh, fairly reliable, and if you can get it off, then it saves you a lot of offstage you know, and ledge guarding. Played any melee today? No, I mean I only just came here to start a comp dating. <laughs> is, is, is this your job? <laughs> I'm not being. Did Forex hire you to come here? <laughs> okay, uh, are you a? Uh... Oh, I only. Oh, I, nice well, combo. you know when I arrived, I was well after the tournament started. Yeah, but um, you know, there's could have played some friends. Yeah, I suppose. But I, don't know, I guess you just got recruited too quickly. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't really in the mid play anyway. Like. Uh, more interested in seeing how the scene's going. Oh, yeah, the nice social player. aspect, you know, I want to see everything. Yeah. Uh, before I get utterly destroyed or whatever, like, attempt. Well, there's been a lot of new players that have turned up in the scene, so show them what for with your uh, old school <laughs> skills. It's going to please Link. Like, I try. Yeah, but, you know, especially in NTSC, now you have that semi spike. Oh, that's true. And uh, Nick's taking quite the lead. This game, this is Ruben's counterfeit, so... 
Ruben doesn't want to lose this, so he's got an uphill battle to try and take this grand final. Kill a shape like a moth. Ooh, I don't think he wanted that. Nick is making me work out of those down points. <laughs> Reached right after the stage. Wasn't done with him, brought him straight back in. Yeah. <laughs> Come back here. Like, just one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Got an up tilt for you. Here comes the juggles. Yeah, especially uh, Silas does not have her tank this time. Oh, oh this is the tether. Yeah. I actually don't know if he missed the tether or if he had already used it in the air. Because oh. you can only use the tether once yeah. before, if you try and air dodge and use it again before landing, um, you can't do it. It wasn't so the air for a very feet. long time, so yeah. it's very possible. It's uh, my thoughts. Oh, straight back in. in. Yeah, straight back in. Not even time to update the score. <laughs> but, uh, this could be the grand finals final game for Ruben. He does not pull something out here. Yeah. Something out of whatever pockets that Samus uh, suit has. Yeah, so pockets. <laughs> the, the pockets on Samus' suit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I think mean, there are any, uh, so it, that, it's that, maybe that, a foregone conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Which is also screwed at the pockets on the right side, because obviously you can't use your hand with that cannon. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the magic trying to we really fish bad out design, your keys, actually, trying yeah. to, like, get... get <laughs> Home at night and open the front door. Reaching across yourself with your left hand, just trying to. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had that where like you, you've got something in your left hand, but something's in your pockets? You have to use your right hand. And yeah. It's just like the most I'm, awkward thing ever. Uh, actually, are you left-handed? I'm right-handed. Uh, okay. Because I'm like the opposite hand for that problem. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because uh, what you were saying today, oh, I was yeah, like, I'll just uh, use my left hand. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah. I. I <laughs> I hold my phone in my left hand, weirdly. Like, I use my right hand. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 that is actually not the norm. For some reason, my left, my left thumb is really dexterous. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Is there something you're not telling us here? Uh, no. <laughs> I think I, like, everything I want to tell you is uh, as it's out in the open now. Yeah. Same because I, I play, um, play guitar, but I'm right handed. Oh, so you play, you play guitar, guitar as well. Guitar. Yeah. Uh, uh, as you know, I just acoustic. Uh, uh, as you know, if, the, if you're right hand and you play right hand guitar, your left thumb is literally nothing. Yeah. It's just yeah. sitting on the back of the fretboard, idle. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's a shame. Okay, if I could bring it up over the top and do some work. Ah, uh, your hand's not yeah. large enough. Oh no, my hand. My like, hand can stretch easy, but um, my thumb can't get over the top of. Uh, my guitar, right. so I can't yeah. grab the. Uh, I just got like a really skinny fretboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play a violin. <laughs> <laughs> Change instruments a time. That would work. Oh, so Ruben's got the advantage here. Yeah, actually. Back to the game. So if Ruben was gonna do it, he has to do it this game. So he picked a good time to get the advantage. <laughs> the magic <laughs> The last possible instance. Yeah. I would have picked the uh, previous game, but uh, that's just me. Uh, maybe he just likes to keep everyone in suspense. Yeah. Yes. Make it's it more exciting grand finals. <laughs> It's very considerate of it. Yes. But uh, it's getting late and we haven't had dinner, as I mentioned. I was trying to check my watch on my wrist <laughs> and I'm not, not wearing it. <laughs> Just have it drawn on in the marker. Yeah, man. It's the same it's time. Doesn't uh, Homer do that? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Simpsons episode. Yeah. Where does, uh... well, you can tell he's got to look at his watch when he has a watch, because normally he doesn't. Like, yeah. You see him in a scene and it's one of his bits like, when, when are they going to work that in? Just for continuity, yeah, he has to. He has to be there the whole time. Yeah. So Samus just characteristically difficult to edge guard with Moth. Um, with any character, to be honest. Um, just that floaty, all that, all the recovery. She options. has so many recovery options, and it is somewhat dangerous to get hit by up B. Um, it's, it's, wow. it's just difficult to edge guard in general. Yeah. Um, she's got all those recoveries, and because she's floaty, she's got plenty of time to decide which one. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And it doesn't even matter if you're sitting there watching her. Yeah. Because uh, it's only when she gets close to the ledge that she really yeah. makes a hard decision. Whereas if you're Fox, you've got to have that muscle memory down. You've already got to, Your muscle's got to know what mm. you're gonna, what your options are, exactly. what you're gonna use before you even do, know what's going on. And Max uh, has the advantage, and at high percent too. So. This is a good position from the BM. 
And to be quite honest, Nyx only played Marth in these games. So if Ruby can pull this off, then I would be very happy. Oof. That was close. Slipped in under there. Oh, and see, that was the side B uh, up to a combo yeah. that I was talking about earlier. Setting that up. Nice. Oh, catches him off the ledge. This, uh, this could be this could be the, uh, the comeback. Oh, it is. And a slick take of the ledge brings it to one two. Still in its way, but we'll see what Nangs can do. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there for a brief moment. Does the club still go to KFC afterwards? What's the oh, I totally need to go to KFC. <laughs> um, I think so. For the past couple of times, I haven't because I happen to leave E back at a time where I could catch my train uh, okay. instantly. Yeah. But I'm feeling KFC tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's old? if it's still open. I don't think it oh, really? necessarily it's been open. a long time. Like... Oh, yeah. So KFC it... is weird and they're like... They go against the grain of every other fast food place. Yeah. They close at 9.30 sometimes. So silly. Ooh. Remember back in the olden days? I used to all pile into my car after evac. Oh. And then I, I struggled to find a parking space and we go to the old garage. Yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. That was so long ago. I can't do that anymore. I can't like, take one person on the back of my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> People are funny about accepting a ride in a motorcycle. Must be the increased threat of death. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> something to do with it. could be it. I know, I'm terrified of cars, even. Yeah. You know? It took me forever to get my peas. Right. Because it was uh, just this idea of, you know, you get in the car and I have this premonition, I'm just going to screw something up and cause an accident. Yeah, so. I get those all the time. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, your imagination runs away with you. They're like, a, you know, if that truck just swerved into the into my lane now, I'd be dead. Yeah, they call yeah. that a call of the void. Call the void. Yeah. yeah. So you do know yeah. that as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, there's this cliff. One step and it's over. Yeah. I even have it here at Evac um, when we're I, on the top floor for Big Cheese. Oh, the balcony. Uh, yeah, there was like this balcony and it was so far down from the top. And you're just looking, going, that's. Yeah. Imagine, like, not like that you'd actually do it, but you yeah. think, like, what if I fell off yeah. this? And it's... What would that be like for me? How would that end? Yeah. I also think, uh, like, a lower key level, I, like, uh, I just imagine myself dropping my phone over as well. Yeah. <laughs> and then just like, no! Like, even though you know we're near the edge, it's like, whoa, you fumble the jug like, yeah. across, the, across to, to the edge and then straight down. That's exactly it. No one wants to lose their phone. All right, so uh, Nick's got the side of mine here. Yeah, this is... Probably gonna take a while to edge guard Samus here. <laughs> as as Samus, is uh, Samus when recovering from the launch, uh, punches into Google Maps, <laughs> the stage, navigates back on. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but just to clip a down tilt in the face. Uh, Ruben's got his work cut out from him. Yeah. Cut out by a Mars shaped sword. And this was Nick's counterpick stage, so I'm sure he's going to use it to the most potential. Like, how does Samus get down without platforms? You know? mm, true. Get her in the air and press that up on the seat. I suppose if you can ask politely. Yes, let me up. please let me down, yes. sir. Oh, missed oh. the up tilt input. What's the, uh, how tight is the, uh, I mean, how tight is the window? Uh, it's a bit weird with side B um, because there's no, as far as I'm, I'm aware, you can't cancel the animation with a tilt very easy. Oh, sorry. Nice, nice That's attack. a really nice tech there. Yeah. That's a, it's a relatively new uh, teching technique that people have used, started to use lately on the ledge. Um, see, when he teched, he sort of rolled in the same place. Yeah. That's uh, a very specific uh, DI and C stick uh, placement. Right, okay. Uh, so and so you can get it consistently depending on the move and uh, your position. And uh, you won't go anywhere. You, know, you just tech roll in and stay in place. Cool. So it really helps when you're very high percent and you can 
know that no matter how you DI, you're just going to lose your stock. May as well go for the answer to They're playing fairly conservatively, but Nick actually gets a fair to close yeah. out Ruben's stock. And if Ruben can't pull this off, this is his last stock. This is the oh. end. Potentially. Ooh. Nick did not look happy in the player cam about that one. <laughs> Take the freeze frame on the board later. <laughs> oh, gets some recovery though. How many fares can you get? Yeah, just <laughs> over and over. Relentless pummeling. <laughs> Ruben could definitely do this. Oh. He needs to just close out this stock without taking too much more damage. That could be good. That's the stock. And that's it. Okay. Alright, let's go, Ruben. Ruben's got to be feeling the pressure now. Yep, absolutely. He doesn't have any second chances. Oh, oh <laughs> very anticlimactic finish. <laughs> yeah. uh, shouldn't have uh, said anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that that's, was grand finals. That's the tournament to Nick. Yeah. So, looks like Nick takes this first place. Oh God, grand I'm finals I'm reset. Three-one. I was indulging in a little stretch there. Uh, just well done, Nick. The camera. Uh, just flexing. Well done, Nick. And. Would you, Nick Simulink, like to come and sit and talk about your grand finals experience? <laughs> Everyone wants to. Oh, okay. In that case. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's time to say good night, everyone. Thanks up. for joining so, us on this thank uh, you very much. tournament. Yes. And thank you for joining us as our guest star commentator. It's my pleasure. Tom Chataway. My pleasure. Any any time, provided I have time. <laughs> <laughs> That I very ambiguous don't. statement. But <laughs> I just uh, said nothing at all. Yeah. Nothing at all. So nothing it took forever to say nothing. That's all right. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you at the next tournament on Sunday. Which Sunday? Which will be uh, the last Revival of SA tournament for the year. So, goodness, again. Goodness me, I don't even know about that. Ah, well, now you do. Oh, and okay. be looking forward to seeing you there, Tom. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> Details, I'm not kidding. Like I don't know. <laughs> Details to come. Uh, all right. Watch out for the pamphlet in your letterbox. Yes. I hope I get delivered mail like that. <laughs> That'd be really convenient. All right. Thank you, everyone. How do you end the stream? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, you can follow my Twitter at kbkaiser for when we go live next, and you can also follow at SA Smash Central on Twitter. And that's where we post all of our tournaments and our streams. Um, my name is Kaiser. I host this stream. Um, and the best way to support is to follow and subscribe to this and on YouTube. I'm also going to be working through um, the Big Cheese VODs very soon, very soon on SA Smash TV YouTube. It's, in, it's on your screen right now. It's up in the, the Jubilee up there. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to be heading off now, packing up, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. I'm going to send y'all somewhere else to host, to host, what do you mean, hello, what, what are you doing, okay, yeah, I'm going to find someone for you guys to go to, okay, but yeah, that's going to be it for the stream, uh, Moon's Kaiser, and I'm signing off. <laughs>